Now, this is a tool that is really, really great, and I just love using it because just it's powerful. I don't know if you have ever heard before of this one. It's called Kaber.ai, and this video that you're looking at right now, well, it's all made with Kaber. Now, in order to make something like this, you just need to give it a prompt. Just like, for example, if you are using Midjourney or all these other AI image generators. And actually, if you just head over to Kaber.ai and if you head over to the gallery section, you will see the amazing work that can be made with this simple tool. So, for example, I'm just going to click on this one and it'll right away give you like the preview of this. Now, there's a lot of opportunities with this one. You can make TikTok videos, you can make Instagram reels, whatever. And trust me, this is trendy nowadays. And whatever is trendy, you can gain traction with it. Now, they have few like these animation styles. It can move along, you can rotate the picture, you can just like evolve. I'm going to talk about all the settings now, but firstly, I just got to tell you that this is credit based. You will get like a lot of credits for free, but later, of course, you will have to pay for it. Now, when you start your free trial, you just have to like enter your email address in it. And right away, you can start creating videos like this one is. This one is, for example, made from another real video. This one, for example, was created just with the text prompt. And this one is totally crazy. Now, they will just ask you like to customize your experience by just asking some simple questions about yourself. So whether you are a social media content creator, whether you are a student, just click on like these next options and then what are you going to use caver for what I really like is this so if you are a beginner you just choose this one and you will have a lot more help than for example if you chose advanced so when you land inside you just click on create your first video and as I've told you you will create these videos for seven days for free and you will get 100 credits for free or you can just subscribe right away when you start your free trial, you will just get a message like this. You can join their Discord server if you want. And then firstly, as you can see down there, you can begin with an initial image. So this allows you to just put your own image in there. So for example, you can put your own image. You can just take a photo with your camera of yourself and they will make an animation based on that. The next option, which I think is really cool, is that you can transform an existing video. It has to be like max length, like up to one minute, or you can just add a soundtrack. So if you ever wanted to make like a music spot or whatever, you can use this option. Now you have to be careful because all of these will take your credits away. So do not like take longer vids if you just wanted to test it out. If you just wanted to test a lot of these videos, just make them like, I don't know, six, seven seconds long in order for you to get the maximum out of your free trial. Now, the best option for me for starters, especially for beginners, is that if you just go on this option to just start right and prom, because you will be just led by your hand. You've got a lot of these options here and they will just tell you what to do. So, for example, I want to create a video of a certain subject. So this is where you write what do you want to be in your video? So what do you want to be the subject? So the main character, let's say I'm going to type in something like this. So futuristic cyberpunk. Also, they've got the whole like guide there. You should can just find that on the website. And they tell you that firstly, you just need the subject. And secondly, you need a short description of what else you want to be in the video. And the third option is going to be like these styles, but you can just choose the styles here. So for example, if you want to go with something cinematic, you click on cinematic and you will get all of these prompts written out for you. So you don't have to know anything about this one. You can just go and play with it, choose these styles and see what the video is going to look like. You can see what the video is going to look like before you even spend the credits. So you will see certain frames here. I just wanted to add a little detail. So I just wanted to add like spaceship in the distance. Let's just do it like that. So we've done with that. We've done with this one. And then you head over to video settings. Now, this is where it starts to be fun. 
as I've told you, do not make this like longer video. You can go all the way up to one minute. It's really beautiful. But in order for us not to like spend these credits, you can just lower it down to let's say like six seconds just to see what can be done. Now this one, you know what it is. If you wanted to make like videos for YouTube, this is going to be this aspect ratio. So standard movie ratio. If you want to make like shorts, you will just use this or TikTok videos, whatever. I'm just going to use this for now. And this is like the camera movement. Now, this will like totally depend on what kind of style you are pursuing. So for example, if you rotate clockwise, it's going to be like so, so crazy like that gorilla that I showed you earlier. But if you want it to zoom out, well, it's going to look something like this. So it just constantly zooms out out of the picture. I actually like that one. So zoom out is going to be the setting for me for this video. Now, this is going to really transform your video. Evolve means that how much it'll go from the normal version of your prompt. So for example, if you just go over to 10, it's going to be like totally blurry, totally wild. While if you just get over to one or two, it's going to be more stable. So for example, if I'm going to create like music videos or something, I would go like all the way up to seven or eight. But if I'm just going to create something like a storyboard, I would always prefer one or two and maybe three because I wanted a more stable version. You have all written there as in that guy that I was mentioning. And the last option is boomerang. I don't want to use this. It just like plays forward and then it plays it in reverse somewhere around the half of the video. You can check this. You can just go and play with it, see what it is. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go now and click on generate previews. This will just show you four frames. You will not get the video. You will not get like the video frames. They're just essentially going to look like this. So now you just have to select your favorite preview. So this is like just an image, one frame of your video, and the whole video is going to revolve around your initial frame. So for me, I like this one for now. It's going to be OK. And you can just notice that there is an option to add a storyboard. So you just add like another frame into it. But I'm not just going to do this right now. So I'm just going to make a video about this one. But with the help of this storyboard, you can create the whole video. You can create a story, you know. So, for example, this man can like walk in the distance. And then the next video can be like him going over the building, maybe entering a spaceship or whatever. You know, you just have to be creative with it. And then you just have to click on create a video and this will just take a bit of your time. Now, while it makes itself, I just want to make sure that you don't think that this is too expensive. As you can see, you can just get this Explorer one and it's just five dollars per month, you know, so five dollars per month, you get 300 credits. And this is totally fine for you if you're just starting out with your, I don't know, TikTok channel, Instagram theme page, YouTube channel, whatever. Later on, you see like the pro version. This is like more than enough for like anyone. And you've got the option to create eight minute videos. So this is totally fine. And you've got like 12,000 credits, which is really, really good. Now, while it makes itself, I just wanted to show you that you can always go here to product section and then you can just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. And if you're new to this AI art prompt and whatever, you have this. So you just, just click on read more and you will get a lot of information, a lot of help on how to just like lay the foundations. What do you need to watch out for and what kind of settings would you like to use? which will, of course, be related to your style, these meta modifiers and styling. And they will basically just tell you what is important and what is not. So you can just see the examples, for example. So the example with this like first prompt, how it's going to look like and with the second one, how it's going to look like. Now let's come back to our video. As you can see, this is the video that we've made right now. I don't know how it turned out to be 15 seconds, but here it is. So you can just have a look. It's really cool, really beautiful, and I just made it with the prompts and with the help of Kaber. So you can see the zoom out version. It looks really nice. We've got that futuristic cyberpunk thingy. We didn't evolve much, 
and you've got like spaceships in the distance so it's all there you know it listens to you and it certainly will go with your style and your settings now i just want to show you one more thing and it is transforming an existing video and what i did i just went over to pixabay i just typed in running and i choose one of these free videos then when you just upload the video you can just click here and it'll auto fill prompt subject so it will just analyze the media that i've just uploaded i'm going to choose the same style i'm going to go over to video settings and here you just have transform and that is evolve all right so it is the same thing how much do you want this to be transformed i'm just gonna leave this like for like this i'm gonna click on generate previews here and then of course just choose one of these and click on the create video now this was actually the video that i just took from pixabay so it's just man running over the bridge now I'm just going to add one more person or two more persons there and we'll see how it will turn out. Just remember that transforming the existing video to this like caber video is going to take a lot of credit. So if you're not sure what you want to make, if you just want to test it out, be sure to like just be sure what do you want to make or not. And voila, we have our video. You can see that the man changes. There's like some people in the background. Not a lot, but of course, it will depend on your settings and what do you want to achieve. So just go play with it. Remember, free trial is there and then just go and monetize all this content. I wish you good luck and I'll catch you next time.